Back here in the Bay Area, San Francisco police could get more power and more tools to fight crime. Mayor London Breed announced a safer San Francisco ballot measure for the March 2024 election. But not everyone is on board with this proposal. Our Jose Martinez is here to explain. Jose? Well, guys, I spent some time in the center of the Mission District, where Safer San Francisco sounds like a needed plan to address public safety. But there's concern over the possible impact it could have on communities of color. I'm here in the center of the Mission, where Safer San Francisco sounds like a needed plan to address public safety. But there is a concern out here over the possible impact it could have on communities of color. It's the newest plan from the city to fight crime. We are introducing today is a change that is necessary, a change that recognizes that we have evolved, a change that recognizes that we want safe streets in every part of San Francisco, in every neighborhood. We want to see change in San Francisco. Mayor London Bay refers to a safer San Francisco ballot measure for the March 2024 election. The measure would give officers access to technology like drones, ease restrictions and police chases in the city and reduce paperwork requirements for officers, but not everyone thinks this is a good idea. Policing doesn't equal safety. Um, the Supreme Court themselves has said that just because you're a police officer doesn't mean that you're responsible. Um, and it, as a result of that, has meant that it doesn't necessarily bring more safety to communities. We met with Delta Medina right in the heart of the mission, where she works as a community leader. She says over-policing has already caused enough damage to communities of color. There is policy paper after policy paper. There are study after study that shows that so often over-policing doesn't create more safety. And who gets to be over-policed and how they get to be over-policed is also falls around racial, class, and economic lines. Her biggest concern is the use of technology. Right now, SFPD officers cannot use city-owned and operated cameras and drones to prevent, investigate, and solve crimes. But if this measure is approved, those policies will change. And she's afraid that these tactics could create more incidents like the Dolores Park Hill bomb back in July, where officers clashed with hundreds of teenagers, resulting in arrests and lawsuits. The hill bombing that happened a couple of months ago, this is a place where young people were corralled by police, uh, harassed, uh, parents weren't notified, uh, people's civil rights and young people's civil rights were violated. But even though the city promises that it will all be done while protecting civil liberties and data retention, Delta says she's expecting a major campaign so people can understand what this means. And Delta tells me she will stay on top of this issue, having more conversations with the community.